Hey there, either holder fire family. Welcome to another Narjan Reacts. In this we reaction to the Dragon Prince season three, episode four. If you like access to the full unedited reaction, go join my Patreon. The link for it will be in the description down below. But anyway, let's get right into it. Hey there, either holder fire family, and welcome to another Narjan Reacts. In this video, we're reacting to the Legend of Vox Machina season one, episode one. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so I bear. Hold on, real quick, because I don't want to talk over any of the. Since I haven't seen this before, I barely know anything of this series. Uh, I've seen very little, like literally, like pretty much, like I think a few second clip, and that's it. But then that, I'm going into this pretty much blind. I, I don't know any of the characters. I don't know what the story is. I don't know, like if this was is based off of something. I have no idea. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Stood the majestic kingdom of Taldore. Taldore. Once the battlefield. Of okay, you know what? Between Dragon Prince's. See, I'm already forgetting. <laughs> ka, ka, ka there. See, these places have such mystical like m names. I'm gonna start forgetting them because or mixing them because. <laughs> God, I got enough with Dragon Prince, and you got Owl House and all this stuff, and then you got this one. So Taldore, so even though I'll, I'll th I think I remember it. It was a time of peace. Until. Until a great evil mm -hmm. arrived. Human. Man. A brave group of heroes banded together, ready to face this evil. This looks like something out of Dungeons and Dragons or Lord of the Rings. Yeah, this gives big, like, Dungeons and Dragons vibes. What the fuck? You shall pay for All right, this is not what I was expecting it whatsoever. Holy Humanity will never fall to you. He had probably the least tragic, uh, gory death. That was something. Something. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was definitely a beginning I was not expecting whatsoever. Um, that kind of gore and swearing. Yeah, wasn't expecting that. I propose we attempt to capture the beast and use it as a weapon against our enemies. I what beast is it? We didn't even get to see we it. We don't even know what the creature is. Okay, I'm curious. Is she... Is, is she his wife or daughter? No, she looks old enough to be his wife, so... Huh. Lady Allura is right. But sire... I will not send our remaining <laughs> His <army>. face! <laughs> but sire... <laughs> on the city walls until we know who or what our enemy is we must find more mercy. okay so you don't even know what it is might i ask the torian butchers are butchered the murder hobos murdered the, the torian butchers butchered and murders mur death dealers are all dead. dead then find someone worthy do not rest <gasps> until you bring me the greatest band of mercenaries in all of taldore why do i feel like they're gonna be a band of like miscreants or like like Fools or something. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're starting off with... Is this the animated by the same studio that did Legend of Korra? Because the animation style reminds me a lot of uh, Voltron, which is another series I have not seen. I, that one I've seen more clips of, though. Uh, but yeah, Voltron's animation and uh, Legend of Korra's animation reminds me of this. So I wonder if it's done by the same studio. <laughs> Well, big guys are okay. Wait, because usually our, our main characters will have like more standoutish designs, so I feel like it's gonna be this guy. Kind of reminds me of Drax from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, and then you got the one with the freckles in the red hair. She actually kind of reminds me of Brigitte from Overwatch, <laughs> or I guess like Irish Scottish, whichever one it is that are known for the red hair and kind of freckles and stuff. I feel like her, maybe the white-haired one with the scar in her eye. And then this big guy, First. and maybe the one in the in the back with the mug kind of held up, and then the guy. But wait, is this our whole band right here? Because they're they you got the one against the window too. That's got the glasses, like the. He reminds me of the kind of character that'd be an anime protagonist that pushes up his glasses with his middle finger. <laughs> um, but yeah, the white hair guy with the glasses in the back too. So one, two, three, four, five. That'd be five characters. Okay, yeah. they're connected. Again. Oh, fuck me. Why do we always play drinking games with a guy twice us? 
His voice sounds familiar. Um, where are you from? I have heard you before. Oh, slipping me by. I I know that voice. Because it's the fastest okay, way so to get YouTube. drunk, obviously. <laughs> Who's drunk? I was no, mostly right. I got mostly. I think we should go to another. She's gonna another... puke. <laughs> Didn't you only have one ale? <laughs> She's a light drinker then. Oh, watch it, bitch. Hey, you watch it, dick nose. Dick nose? We don't waste our time on talking assholes, remember? Well, that one's like a. Uh, Doberman, pin, like Doberman, uh, kind of. I don't know if they have demons in this in this world, but creature, I guess creature. Uh, this is interesting. This is not what I expected for an Amazon Prime series, but now honestly, that makes more sense that Amazon picked up Hasman Hotel because I thought Hasman was pretty pretty out of um, Amazon's genre of considering how gory and all the cussing and uh, the risque stuff and Hasbro Hotel, I thought, ah, I'm surprised Hasbro, uh, Amazon would pick it up. But now with this series being on Amazon first, makes a lot more sense. Another round for Vox Machina, the greatest band of mercenaries oh, so in that, all the realms. Oh, so that's their name. The greatest. I heard you couldn't even rescue a cow from a burning barn. <laughs> Well, at least on the downside is they couldn't save the ca the calf from the or cow from the burning farm, but they got beef afterwards, steak, burgers. I don't know. But everyone knows you're a bunch of pathetic losers who can't get a fucking job. Look at you, scrawny. You're about to get your nuts kicked in, I bet. To tickle your own pickle. Are you offering to help? Yeah. God, where is this guy's? Where? Who else is he voiced? He sounds. Why does he almost kind of sound like the cat from Lackadaisy, the one that's the uh, the one that's the singer that he sounds a lot like him. Can't be the same guy. Well, no. I... Wait, what? What did he say? Are you offering to help? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Why does that give me such a oh harder daddy <laughs> Angel toss? <laughs> Give me a hand. <laughs> or no, Angel does when he goes, I could suck your dick. <laughs> no, Max. I think he's willing. He gave you a hand, yeah? <laughs> no, wait. How drunk the one with the red hair looks when she's just in this. Everyone looks all ready to do battle, and she just looks like she's about ready to puke again. And you're drinking more. I like the music. Not the cat! I had him. Of course he's just sitting there couch like hmm. oh, no. <laughs> just tackles them both. Oh, oh brother, okay. She's gonna puke on one of them as like the Can't watch this, please. Thank you. Okay, we're good. <coughs> There's one thing I can't handle. Is that I can't handle gore and those things for some reason, but <coughs> okay, I think I'm okay. Why does this happen every time we go out drinking? <laughs> Trouble follows you wherever you go, I'm guessing. Oh, she's got a bear. Baloo? His name's Trinket. There you go. Goodbye. Oh, I thought he was about to say, oh, bollocks. My love, it's time for us to fuck. <laughs> My love, it's time. It's a fuck. <laughs> Why is this like almost like a, a Dungeons and Dragons version of freaking Hasbro Hotel or something like that? Even though this. No, okay. Hasbro came first because I can see this came out. This is two seasons, so I'm guessing two years ago, year ago. So yeah, never mind. Hasbro was first. Sakes, Percy, but I love this. Oh man, if you want to join in, you gotta ask first. Scanlan, I should have known. 
Could you put on some pants and help us? No, I'm trying to deflower my lady here. You gotta be shitting me. Minotaur? Whoa. Then you destroy my tavern. I like her. What, what is that gnome doing with my daughter? <laughs> it's probably best you don't know. Sponsor. Don't even try it. Manny, now. Pay up. Well, Fix. you see, we don't exactly have any money on us per se, but if you give me five... <laughs> well, you're banned now from that place. And stay out! Does wow. this mean we're officially banned from every tavern in Amon? <laughs> every! Well, perhaps if someone didn't accidentally decap... He's still playing with the guy's hand. Maybe we could try doing some good this time? Eh. Uh, <laughs> a luxury. I mean, Vex and Vax only care about themselves. Well, oh, fuck, fuck you. you. Vex and Vax. What is there, I thought one of them named me Vox or something like that, and then all I could think of was freaking Vox from Hasman. I don't need more correlations to that show, okay? <laughs> I got enough of it. You can say it, Keyleth. I'm not ashamed. So why do I feel like... Wait, what is his name? Is it Keelan? And Scanlan one two. Scanlan. Scanlan? Okay. What a name. So you got Grog. Was it Vax and Vax? I got I'm gonna have to remember their names. To do this. I mean, Vex and Vax only Yeah. I'm guessing Vex and Okay, I can't tell, like those both both those names don't sound very like gender specific. So I'm gonna guess Vax and Vax. Uh, so then you got Grog. Grog is probably the easiest one to remember out of their name so far. One. Yeah, pretty much. Percy. Percy. Grog and Percy are gonna be the easiest Barry for me so far. Seen with us in public and Scanlan. Scanlan. Mm. One to bed. And I wonder, has Scanlan then tried to bed like her and all the females in this group? Oh, if that's a that's his thing is wanting to bed every woman. Why are we even together? Wow, we're asking that hard-hitting question right in the first episode. So we're gonna go through- so the group is gonna go through this test, like this test of their friendship in the very first episode. That's gonna establish their strength as a group and how they actually truly all care about each other. Because usually that's stuff that you put a group through like later on in a season or a series. Uh, so they're get, they're hitting that right out of the gate to kind of like test them. Well, while you're all moping around, I have to drain the proverbial basilisk. Okay. <sighs> Drain the proverbial bat. Okay, I get it. Basilisk is more like a hognose snake, or like a mole that sticks his head. No, groundhog that sticks his head out of the ground. Uh, never mind. Hmm? Oh. Oh, 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 apologies. <laughs> Ew. Mind of its own. For glory, protecting the kingdom, and having stuff. sex with women, and most importantly, women. Ooh, lots of money. I thought I was going to say women. I did not need to see the proverbial... Nuts. I could have think of something and go with it. Never mind. <clears throat> but the bear waits outside. How rude. Don't leave Tinker outside. Is it Tinker? Trink trinket? Trinket. It was Trinket. It's okay, buddy. We'll be back soon. <sighs> Trinket's my favorite character so far. <laughs> Whitestone hasn't been heard from in months. Our last messenger never returned. They must be warned of these attacks. Send another guardsman straight away. Well, that's one way to announce your presence. I'm sorry, who the hell are you? Vox Machina. You see, it's actually a somewhat clever play on words. Honest you mean to tell me is Vox a play on Vex and Vax? No, I would, never mind. Actually, we don't care. Sire, I warned you the notices would attract the scum of Iman. Excuse you? I think so. The hell did you just say? <laughs> Who've adventured far and wide, but I promise Are we her to that school? you've never met a troop so qualified. Does he have bard magic? Bard magic? A mighty giant, he's a simple-minded hulk. And Zip my... What is this? Nature hath no fury quite like Keyleth the Ashari Controlling plants and animals She's Okay, I like her powers, so probably the best 
The twins vex and vex. She shoots, he hides in she the She shoots, he hides. They're stealthy and quite deadly, but I forget which one is which. He's Vax. She's Vax. Okay, so the brother is Vax and she's Vax. I love how though he's like, and I keep forgetting which, which is which. And it's like, I feel like that's gonna possibly happen with me. Oh, and did I mention we have a bear? Trinket, no big deal. See, Trinket I remember easy. <laughs> and as for myself, my name is Stanley. Stanley All right, listen, Lucio, I wanna be. Of Vox. Jazz oh, thank you very much. Well, they do have a bear. They do they have a bear. Ferocious. And the song was entertaining. Why not? Yeah, listen, yes. Have a chance. Perhaps that's more than meets we the eye. We have nothing to lose. Warriors. More than meets uh, the eye. Transformers. Yeah, doubt it. Agar apparently had his hand chopped off in a barroom brawl. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <sighs> She's getting bad vibe off of him. Very well. You're hired by Shocking, the character that looks like somebody who'd be up to no good is po probably up to no good. It's Machina. You don't know what you're killing, but once you kill it, all this is yours. My knee. Uh, oh, that's cool. I haven't seen this kind of like flying ship stuff since uh, Treasure Planet. Kind of cool. nice to see. <laughs> okay, no, technically Peter Pan did it first with well, at least from what I've seen. And then Treasure Planet had it, and then now you have this one. So only like three series or times I've seen it in all the movies and series I've watched. I haven't felt that since. Isn't this ship up? Since our parents were killed in that. Watch the backstory be something like that. Why are you both whispering like we can't hear you? Can you mind your business for once, gnome? We only want the viewers to hear us, okay? Not you guys. As you can see, this mission sounds. Kind of deadly. <laughs> Do we really yeah, we'll be this? fine. Yeah. yeah. Nobility and heroism is fine and all, but we're in this for the money. I see. At least he's blunt. So it's or honest. over character. Not surprising. <laughs> Remember Vax, Vex, Caitlin, Trinket. The shale steps are beyond that hill. Grog. Good luck. Please Percy. don't <sighs> die. Fuck this up. As don't say. Thanks for the sweet ride. You'll be back to pick us up later. Don't try and hit on her. <laughs> that took off so fast. <laughs> yeah, she'll be back. She totally wants me. I'm curious what, what this thing is. Again? The last attack was just south of here. We're gonna ask around, see if anyone knows anything. Ask around. Her voice kind of sounds familiar too. Green friends, have you seen any evil wizards or giant monsters passing through here? Uh, what? What do you mean kind of weird? Don't you know her by now? Like she's known for like nature and animals. Clouds. Could you bless our house? Protect uh, from this evil. Uh, a blessing? Yeah, 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 sure. I don't uh, know. Uh, I bless this house. Bye-bye. Okay, here goes. May Blessed. Everlight shine upon your home. Everything will be tip top. Tip top. Okay. I'm sure you'll survive these trying times, so good luck. Good luck. Good enough. Are you I'm sure it'll be enough to keep our family safe. <gasps> sure, and then they die. Nah, the magic's all in the fingers, kid. <gasps> magic's in all the fingers. Wow! And now? But we couldn't see it in the storm. But it was big. Really big. Yeah. It's a dragon? So it could be like a dragon or a yeah. manticore or something. I ship. Just kidding. <laughs> Not that fast as shipping, okay? Oh. Now they look human. Human that could turn into something? It's close. Everyone get ready. So I wonder if she can sense monsters or something. This is not gonna be it. It's gonna be like a chipmunk or a squirrel or something. Rabbit. Of all the creatures, like, I guessed every single one of them except for goat. Like, I was like, we've never, I don't think there's ever been a goat in any of these kind of scenarios. It's always like a rabbit, a chipmunk, uh, something like that. In this one, it's a freaking goat. At least I didn't do the freaking goat scream, that meme thing. 
<laughs> get the so fuck cute. out. Get the fuck out. little lamb was behind all the mayhem. Oh, don't let that thing bite your back. Crap. <laughs> oh, so you might want to shut up. <laughs> I mean, Billy! It just got T Rexed from. It is a dragon. <laughs> That's a cool dragon, though. <laughs> it's him from Dragon Prince after he's grown up. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. I, the, this thing is cool. But, yeah, definitely not a friendly dragon. I wonder if Caitlyn will be able to communicate with it, though. Like, maybe it's misunderstood or something's pissed it off. Maybe it's egg was stolen. I feel like that might be the case. Of course, Grog would be like, nah. You dumb brave ass. <laughs> He's the biggest, strongest one of, of us all. Well, he just bits off even more. She's gonna send something, I feel like. Oh, can she control the elements? I know she controls like the plants and nature and stuff. It's like Storm from uh, X Men. I think you thoroughly pissed it off now. Did I just make it worse? Probably. You're gonna need more than that. It sent something else. Or not. Why did it do that instead? Oh. Is that thing possessed or something? The way its eyes look... Something feels get off about it. Get, get me out! I'm trapped under Grog's ass! Trapped under his ass. So, this is what rock bottom feels like. Literally. Hello, Power bottom Grog. at rock bottom. Thank the ever You're hurt. Nah, just a flesh wound. No big. That's a flesh wound. This is normal. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna throw up. Oh, that took a lot out of me. Uh, I got you. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, you, you can put me down now. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Fuck your okay. real end all. The only word I care about is Scanlan Shorthalt. And yes, I know that's two words, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. What are those sure. Fuckety... You can't just run away. This is why I hate traveling with holy people. <laughs> too goddamn good. <laughs> Feel when they're close. Mm. A horrid pain in my head. Then it's settled. So what? We'll go back to the palace. Why did she sense it from the guy at the council? Was I wonder if he's controlling this dragon? I really get the feeling he is, considering I don't know. Just it's. Mm. You heard her. One of them might be working with that monster. Let's just get the hell out of here and never set foot in. I don't think it's working again. with. It's controlling. He picks her up. Oh, <laughs> puts her on her shoulder. They're not gonna give it up. They're gonna. This is only part one of this uh, prologue, so or beginning of the series. Are they gonna come back to the village being destroyed? They're gonna be all dead, aren't they? Oh no. Yep. They wiped them out. All of them. The children. I was gonna say, there's only one of them there. Never mind. Well, that just solidified them going after the dragon. We could have stopped this. Should have. Let me guess, he has the silver coin in his hand. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared. Out of my mind. But I'm in. I don't like losing, but now I'm feeling things. I don't like feels. Inside. That was actually well stated, Grog. What was? Uh, what was? <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> a moment of, of brilliance. Oh, guys. And we'll kill a fucking dragon. A fucking dragon, yeah! <laughs> oh, I knew that was gonna go the way it went. I've heard this song before. That's where this, uh, the, that song is from the series. 
That's a pretty flowers and trees. No, right, wait, wait, wait. I want, I want to see the voices, bro. I want to see if I recognize anyone. Laura Bailey is Vex. Okay, I've heard her before. Percy Pike. Matthew. Matthew Mercer is. Wait. No, I said I said uh, I said Vax sounded familiar. Matthew, Mer Matthew, Mer isn't that freaking um, Cass slash McCree from Overwatch? I'm pretty sure it is. Agar, Iman, narrator, fisherman, trinket. So he voices the bear. Liam O'Brien is Vax. Liam O'Brien. Liam O'Brien. I gotta look up Liam O'Brien because I sw I'm pretty sure I've never heard him before. Travis is voicing Grog. Travis William. I don't think that's Travis from Overwatch either that voices, uh, because Travis, the one who voices, uh, Winston from Overwatch voices a lot of characters, but I don't think that's that Travis. Matthew Mercer, though, I'm pretty certain is the one that voices Cass slash McCree. Crowdfunding. They got crowdfunding for this series? Meta Pigeon. Chirp. What is that outro? Chirp. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. All right, so that was the first episode of The Legend of Vox Machina. <laughs> that was definitely not what I was expecting whatsoever. Like I saw, like I've, like I said, I've seen like a brief clip on on the series, and like it was just basically showing the main characters, like what they look like. Um, and I knew I, I felt like it's gonna be a Dungeons and Dragons kind of series, but definitely not. Like it, it's going that route, but it feels it. It almost feels like a because okay. I was gonna say it feels more mature, but I don't wanna say that gore and cussing and stuff and sex automatically makes a show more mature than one that doesn't have that. Um, but it's just weird to see that being put into a cartoon or a Dungeons Dragons kind of series, because I've never seen that before. Um, but it doesn't feel off. Like it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like, oh, we're 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 just adding it to add it to be more mature or whatever. It does feel like, yeah, I mean this. It, it does feel weird that you wouldn't see gore and sex and that kind of stuff in it, this environment, considering you got the bars, you got the fighting creatures and stuff. It's like there, you would expect there to be limb loss, uh, wounds that are bleeding a lot, that kind of thing. So um, I'm like pleasantly surprised. I'm not surprised in a, oh, this is not what I was expecting in a, I don't want to watch it like way. It's more like, oh, okay, this is what we're doing. Okay, this is, this has caught my interest more than just if it had been a typical Dungeons and Dragons like type of uh, series. Um, like I like all the characters so far. I, I like, I like their chemistry and things and I'm interested to see um, like what happens and stuff. I would say my favorite character right off the bat from the first episode, um, would probably be, yeah, uh, I keep saying Caitlyn, but I think it's Kathleen, Kathleen, or something like that. Um, I think they, here, I think they show, where is she? Kaylith, Kaylith is her name. Okay, not Caitlyn, Kaylith. So, I would say Kaylith is probably my favorite, then maybe second would be Percy, uh, not Percy, um, Pike. Pike would be my second favorite character so far. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, overall... Um, not a bad start. Definitely wasn't what I was expecting, but I, again, I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, so I would say for, I mean, it's just the first episode. So, I mean, the plot for the first episode has me invested. So I would say that's good. Um, characters have me invested in them. So, uh, I wouldn't say great characters so far. I would just say good. Um, cause it's too soon to really judge their characters. Um, animation again, reminds me of Legend of Korra and I really like the animation for Legend of Korra and Voltron. Um, uh, so, uh, do I say great animation? Yeah, I would say great animation. Like, it's not, it's not cheap animation or anything like that. So I would say great animation. Music really like, uh, especially the opening song. Like, that's a song I've heard before. Um, or at least this is the, like, orchestral version. I don't know if we're going to get one with actual, the actual lyrics, because that's the one I've heard. Um, but if we do, well, actually, no, even without the lyrics, it's still a great song. So for, I like the music. Um, so yeah, overall, a uh, great start. Um, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you like early access to my full unedited reactions, go join my Patreon. Link will be right out here. But yeah, anyway, have a wonderful morning, after night, and keep running bright. See ya!